Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 52 in chapter 5. In this one, we need to find the minimum radius for this circle motion. And then, in what situation for this minimum radius, it tells you the car will not leave the road. What does that mean? It really means this car just attaches the surface by no force, no normal force acting on it. So, this one tells you the car just moves around this slope. So, this uh, no normal force equals to zero. So in this one, we can make sure the car will not leave the road, but it, uh, this is a boundary situation. So first of all, we can see for this uh, car on this road, we can see we can do the force analysis. First of all, we have gravity, then we have a normal force, right? We assume, first we assume there is a uh, normal force, and then we project the gravity in the central uh, direction, mg cosine, and then in the tangent direction mg size. In this one, we can write the Newton's second law. The central force is mg cosine the mass normal force equal to the mass times the central acceleration. And in this case, we see the car will not leave the road. It just means the car just attach, just attach with the surface, but no force acting. So f1 equal to zero. In this one, we can get fg cosine that equals the mass times the velocity divided by r. Then we can get the Radius equal to v squared divided by g cosine theta. Agree? Then we can input the known quantities because the velocity v is given and the theta is given. After you input the number inside, you find the i is 77 meter. Thank you.